Alright, so um, in this video I'm going to review how to complete the IXL Link 52N with just a few examples. Um, the first type of problem you'll see looks a lot like this here, where you'll have something, uh, two monomials just multiplied together. And what you do is you just, I always say, just take one thing at a time. Okay, so the first thing we're going to multiply together is going to be the 4 times the 7, okay, which is 28. And then we're going to look at the n's. So we have n and then n squared. And remember, there is a hidden or a secret, well, not, it's not really a secret, but there is a 1 there, an imaginary 1, if you will. And so because we are multiplying the two exponents, we're going to add them, so it's going to give us n to the third power, and that's our answer, 28n cubed. <clears throat> Another example that you'll see for IXL, um, right around like the 60%, are going to be um, your area problems. And just a review, um, to find the area of a triangle, it's going to be one half the base times the height. Okay, so here we have the base, and again this is a review which is why I'm kind of going a little quickly, um, and then this would be the height. So what it'll look like is one half 3x times 2x. Okay, and um, Again, this is the base times the height, so I'll just go ahead and highlight that. Sometimes it helps. Base and multiplied with the height. Oop, my goodness, sorry. Let me erase that for you because it doesn't make any sense and I just erased height. So it just goes to show you that these, are, these videos are not perfect. I'm going to try my best. Okay, so we're going to do um, yellow. There we go. This is our height, which is why we do 3x times 2x. All right, so we do what's in our parentheses first. 3x times 2x is going to be 6x squared. And that's because 3 times 2 is 6. And then there are imaginary ones, right? So 1 plus 1 is 2. We're not done because we still have to take half of 6x squared. So what that looks like, 6x squared over 2. Now, you don't have to do anything with the x because remember with monomial um, operations, you're going to be um, handling the same variables with each other, so x times x. And also the uh, base or the numbers and coefficients are going to go together. So 6 divided by 2 is just 3. And again, that x squared stays the same. And that is your answer. 3x squared is the area of that triangle. Okay, moving on to the last example. And this is as hard as it will get. You have quite a bit going on here. You have, and I just like to, I always like to rewrite the problem. Um, personally, you don't have to, but I, I do. I always rewrite it. It just tells me what I'm working with. So 3u to the 4th, v to the 3rd, w6 times 10u to the 88th power. That's a lot of u's. v to the 56th, and w to the 4th. So you just want to take everything um, just one at a time. So you are first going to work with your numbers. 3 times 10 is 30. Okay. Then you look at your next variable. You have u to the 4th. So then you find to see if there's any u's over here. You have u to the 88. So because you're multiplying them, you're just going to add the exponents. So 4 plus 88 is 92. A lot of u's. v to the 3rd there. Let's see if we have any v's. We do. There's 56 of them over here. So 3 plus 56 is going to be 59. 
And then last but not least, we have our W's. We have W to the sixth power and W to the fourth. When you add them together, that is W to the tenth power. Ooh, and I can't circle. There we go. So those are the three types of examples that you would see um, on 52N. Let's go back here. Uh, and as always, if you have any issues, please chat me.